Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the Super Smash Bros. logo. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You don't need too many colours whatsoever. Grab yourself some black wool, some white wool, and finally, some dark blue wool. And before we get this started, I don't want you guys to feel compelled to have to make the logo out of the three colours that I've just selected. If you pop the logo into Google Images, you'll find that it comes in a variety of colours. There's a lot of blacks, a lot of reds involved, the colour selection that I've just used. Now, it just so happens that I personally like it in the three colours that I've selected. However, I want you guys to feel free to make it in whatever colour combination you would be happy with. That might involve pink. That's completely up to you. Once you have all of the colours that you need, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right here, you're going to want to kick off your logo with a row of seven black wool in a row on the floor. That's seven, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once you have your row of seven black wool, this is what you want to do next. Come all the way over to the left hand side of your row of seven, and starting from this first block right here, you want to do an up left diagonal. And then go left of that diagonal by two, so that's one, two. Then do another up left diagonal, and go left by one. Then do another up left diagonal. Go up on top of that diagonal by one, but also go left of it by one. Continuing from the left block, do four up left diagonals. So that's one, two, three, and four. Go up on top of the fourth up left diagonal by one. Then do another up left diagonal. And go up by two, so that's one, Two, go both right of the second block by one, but also go left of the second block by one. Going up on top of the left block, do two going up, so that's one, two. Then do another up left diagonal. Go up by one, and then go right by one. But then returning back to this block that we went up with, go up on top of the block by a further 5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then do an upright diagonal. And go up on top of it by 2. So that's 1, 2. Then do an upright diagonal. And go up by 1. Then do another upright diagonal. And go up by one. Then do four upright diagonals, so that's one, two, three, and four. Go right of the fourth upright diagonal by one. But then go down by one. Then return back to the right block and do an upright diagonal. And go right by one. Then do another upright diagonal. And go right by two. One, two. Then do another upright diagonal. And go right by two. One, two. Then go down by one. Then return back up to this second right block and go right of it by a further four. So that's one, two, three, four. Let me just show you what you want to have so far and let me just show you how it's piecing together. So, we're roughly halfway through our circular shape right now, and as you can see, we've got random black blocks just kind of dotted all around the half circle that we've just made. Don't worry, guys, that's going to make a little bit of sense a little later on. The reason that I've cut this off here is because I really don't like building downwards. So what we're now going to do, once you've reached this point right here, is we're going to come all the way down to the bottom and we're just kind of going to meet everything in the middle. We're going to build upwards. So once you've reached this point, come all the way back down to the bottom of your logo. And now starting from the seventh block, the right hand side of our row of seven, do an upright diagonal. And then go right by two, so that's one, two. Then do another upright diagonal, and go right by one. Then do another upright diagonal, 
and go right by one. Then do four upright diagonals, so that's one, two, three, and four. Go up on top of the fourth upright diagonal by one. Then do another upright diagonal. Go up on top of it by two, one, two. Then go left of the second block by one, but also go right of the second block by one. Then going up from the right block, do two going up. So that's one and two. Then do an upright diagonal and go up on top of it by one and then go left by one you then want to return to the block that you just went left from and go up on top of it by five so that's one two three four five you then from this fifth block want to do an up left diagonal and go up on top of it by two so that's one and two then do another up left diagonal and go up by one. Then do another up left diagonal and go up by one. Then do four up left diagonals. So that's one, two, three, and four. Go left of the fourth up left diagonal by one. Then do another up left diagonal and go left by one then do another up left diagonal and finish this whole thing off by going left by two and what you should find all being well is that that second block should connect all the way back to the other side of your circle and give you a shape which should look a little bit like this once you've reached this point right here, all we have to do now is connect a few blocks together, colour it in, and we will be left with our Smash Brothers logo. So let's do that now, shall we? The first thing we have to do, we just have to add a single block onto the original row of seven that we placed. And you want to place it on top, starting from the left, on the third block in. So that's the first block, second block, and the third block. Just place a single black block right there in that position. Once you've done that, we now have to, you can see where we have these miscellaneous single black blocks dotted around the circle. The reason that I placed those is so that we can now connect them together, and this is how they connect together. Um, we'll start with the smallest section first. On this lower half of the bottom left half of your circle, where we have this single black wall, you kind of just want to do this. It's, it's really easy to uh, see what you have to do, but it's hard to describe. You, you just kind of want to connect the black wall that you had on the lower half together with the black wall that you had ever so slightly further up and you just want to form kind of like a 90 degree angle like that you just kind of want to form that corner shape right there and you want to do a similar thing with this black block that we have here a little further up with the black block that we have nearer the top of the circle like this you want to form this sort of shape I mean um, it's really easy to see what you have to do, but to put it into words, it's a little hard for me. But you guys can see what you have to do there. It's, it's quite simple. And once you've done that, you now want to come down to the block that we just placed on the bottom of our row of seven. And you want to connect it. Actually, you can't see it that well, but you want to connect it here. Um, let me show you. There, you want to connect it all the way onto the right hand side. It seems as though I, I forgot to add in kind of the, the guiding block, but it's really easy to see where you have to place it because you just have to make the vertical row in line with the vertical row that you have on the left there that we did ever so slightly earlier on and you can't go too wrong. And once you've done that bit, you now want to just come all the way over to the right hand side where we have this single black block a little further up and you just want to then connect that all the way to the top of your logo. So you just drag it all the way over to the left in line with the vertical row that we just made at the bottom and then just connect it all the way up to the top of your logo. And you should end up with something sheep included. Can you see that sheep? It's kind of snuck onto the pixel art, which should look a little bit like this. 
all we have to do now, very easy, we have to, you see the plus shape that we've kind of formed here in the middle? You have to fill that in with dark blue, and then you have to fill everywhere else in with white wool, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. It's going to take a little while, so I'm going to cut this out of the video, but I'll be back once everything's nice and filled in. Back in a moment. And this is what it should look like once your logo has been entirely filled in. As I said, really easy to fill in. You've got your dark blue wool in that big giant plus shape and then you just fill everywhere else in with white wool. Pretty simple logo, it's just a big giant circle with a plus shape in it. But it is a cool logo, I like it, and I've never made anything Super Smash Bros. related, and I really should have. I've I've played very little amounts of the newer ones, but I, I have a lot of time thrown into Smash Bros. Melee. A lot of hours in there. Ah, oh, the GameCube. Such good times. Anyway... Hopefully this is exactly what you guys have on your screen. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.